Hey guys, have you ever noticed a pattern in the stock market and you wanted to create a trading strategy based on that and test it to make sure that your idea works? For example, if the volume shoots up, you want to buy or sell based on the direction or in this example on my screen, if the MACD crosses over, you want to buy and if it's crossing down, then you want to sell and you want to back test to see how profitable your strategy would be. Well, the best solution for that is to use TradingView. So in TradingView, you can actually code up your strategy. You can actually code up your strategy and then you can use that automated to backtest every single trade that matches your criteria for any time span you want. If you want like months or years, whatever you want, you can even set up alerts by pressing plus alert clicking on the strategy you want and you can receive an email whenever it's time to buy or sell based on your strategy and there's also automated trading like you can connect it to interactive brokers or ally invest and it'll automatically trade for you well the only problem is you have to actually code the strategy and i'm pretty sure none of you guys know how to code as well as create the best strategy otherwise we'd be rich so one solution is to go on Fiverr and pay someone to write up the strategy for you, but then they're going to know what your strategy is or they can mess it up or misunderstand, cost you money and time. But I just created a website that could do that automatically for you using AI, which is gonna give you immediate results and it's going to be completely free. So how to do this? Let me show you. Go to my website called TradingView Scripter, link's probably in the description. Go ahead and click get started, sign up with your email or whichever account you want, and then you'll use this form to generate a script automatically. You provide it when to buy or go long, when to short the stock, and when to just sell every position you have. And then additional notes such as plot the RSI, or you can add additional feedback there. So. Let's go ahead and do an example. If you don't know uh, what kind of trading strategies work, you can always go to a YouTube channel called Trading Rush, and he actually made a website as well where he tested a bunch of trading strategies, so you can see all the strategies he's tested, and he scored them based on how reliable they are, how much returns they get. So his top rated strategy is the MACD strategy. So I went ahead and clicked on that, and his YouTube videos here if you want to see it. But for example, he does give us the criteria. So whenever the price is above the 200 moving average, which means it's in an uptrend, and the MACD is crossing below the zero line of the histogram. So that's his strategy. Let's go ahead and copy that, paste it into my AI, and let's also short and just do the opposite. So we'll just do Change above to below, downtrend, and the MACD is crossing. I don't like the word crossover. It. <laughs> okay, it's crossing above the 200 moving average, and we'll close the trades when 10 ticks go by. Or let, let, wait, let let's try let's close the trade when we lose when the when we lose 10 on the position, or we gain 15% on the position. Let me change that to like one or 2%. <laughs> All right. And then additional notes, we want to plot the MACD. All right. So let's go ahead and try that. All you gotta do is press submit. You get this really crappy loading screen. And then a few seconds later, it's going to spit out all the code that we need to just copy and paste to see our strategy back tested. So let's go ahead and give it a second should be done any any second now. Usually it doesn't take very long, but the more complicated the strategy, the more code it needs to write and which will take a little longer. So simple strategies like buy whenever the MACD crosses up is going to be a lot less time. Alrighty, the results are in. So let's go ahead and copy the strategy. Let's close whatever I got open here. And when you're in trading view on the charts, go ahead and click Pine Editor, open, create new, and then you just paste the code here. Now, there are some changes that we gotta do and it should be the same pretty much across the board. So one thing is this LT, all of that is supposed to be the less than symbol. So I'm just gonna use control F 
to replace that with the less than symbol. And then the same thing with the greater than. I'm not sure why that happens, but it's free. Can't complain too much. And another thing is this might need to be on a separate line, but we'll go ahead and test this out. What you do is click add to chart and it should be job done. So since nothing happened, it's because there was an error. So as I mentioned, this is expecting to be on a new line. So you might have to do that as well. Just minor things, not really. You don't need to learn how to code, just need to make these small little edits. And let's try that again, add to chart. Okay, so this part didn't work. We'll have to retry the generation again. Alrighty, so that took a little longer than expected. Had to regenerate it like five times, but eventually I did get a strategy that did calculate. So if I just pasted it in here and you can see it is buying and selling. So that's good. It's selling pretty quickly. Like blue is the open and purple is the close. So it's closing it pretty quickly, but that's because we told it to close whenever we make one or 2% profit or loss. So let me just read through the strategy to show you what it did. You don't need to read any of the code. I just wanted to go over it to clarify some stuff. So it's gonna go ahead and give it the name, start with $10,000 in every single trade, just trade $10,000 worth of stock. And then we calculated the 200 moving average, which is what he suggested. And we must be above the 200 moving average. And then these are the default MACD variables. So we go ahead and calculate the MACD and then we go long whenever the MACD crosses above zero and it's above the 200 moving average. And then the opposite for the short. And finally, we exit the strategy if we make 2% profit or we lose 1% profit. So it's a two to one risk reward ratio. So then when you click strategy tester, you'll see the results are here. Holy crap, 81% profitable. So it's a really good trading strategy and uh, click on properties you can see that it traded since last year since january last year so almost two full years and it made nine percent profit in two years so not bad that's just because it's closing it immediately as soon as it makes any profit and then it waits for that to happen again but that's the way that you do consistent strategies with a high win rate so definitely I, I would even recommend this. So I would go ahead and schedule the alert, click on the condition AI strategy and create. Obviously it still has some kinks. So if you are going to be using it, please give me as much feedback as you can. I want to make sure that we get this as user friendly as possible. And hopefully one day we'll get it to the point where we can just copy and paste and not need to rerun it five times. But as you can see, it does record the last result down here in case you lose it. But every time you do have to type it in again, I will try to improve that. But for now, just copy and paste everything so you can paste it back in and regenerate if needed. Yeah, thank you. Link in description and please let me know how it goes.